Hi, I'm Shauna Coronado. Welcome to my garden and easy as one, two, three gardening tips. We're talking about the tidal wave silver petunia today. This wave petunia is nearly drought tolerant. It produces all summer long and it is the most heat tolerant petunia I've ever come across. You're gonna love it. Also, we have cucumber patio snacker and my favorite white eggplant, which is Gretel. It's so cute and adorable in your garden. Okay. One of the special things about this wave petunia is that it needs no pruning, absolutely none. You don't have to prune this petunia when I know that you have to prune all the others in your lives. This is one of the reasons you want this. But what happens if it becomes overgrown, so overgrown that you need a little trim here and there? I'm gonna show you how to trim the wave petunia. It's shocking. Are you ready? Here it is. You go in. And you choose, oh look, it's a cucumber. We have him. You go in and you lop it off. It's that easy. That's all you do. So you trim around and lop off the top if you feel that it's hiding or covering any of your other plants. Here we have this here. We're gonna pull this one out too, I think. And just pull it out. It's that easy. If you're concerned or worried about making it look absolutely perfect, you want to go in and trim right above a previous node, like that. Easy peasy. That's all you have to do to maintain this plant. One of the keys to success with petunias is making sure that it gets lots of nutrition and nutrients. So what I do is I add rotted manure in with my traditional potting mix. It makes a big difference and look what happens. So that's it. Easy as one, two, three gardening tips. Signing out, you've got to get yourself a tidal wave petunia.